Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm your host, Kristen Little Bumble Bear, and in this episode, we are playing Freddy Fish for the case of the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch. Quite a tongue twister there. As always, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if you've played this game. If you remember it or any nostalgic, humongous entertainment memory you have, I love sharing this with you guys. And if you absolutely love the video, please consider subscribing because we're going to keep on going through the humongous entertainment series and more games to come. As always, a quick plug for my Twitch channel because I do stream on Twitch Fridays and Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time. We are going through Kingdom Hearts series, currently on Kingdom Hearts 2. I also post the streams here on YouTube in case you can't catch me on Twitch, but if you do, come say hi and tell me you're from YouTube. I love it when you guys do that. Also follow my social medias, Twitter and Instagram at Little Bumble Bear to keep updated with what's going on. As usual, I'm joined here with my amazing co-hosts, Sunny and Vic. Hello guys. Hello Kristen, Hello. how are you doing? How are you? Are you excited for the next Freddy Fish installment of our Let's Plays? I'm ready here. As usual, and always, this is being filmed live in my Discord server in front of my Discord audience. I mention it occasionally during these videos, so if you'd like to be in my Discord, leave a comment down below and you can join in and see me record these live before they're even posted on the channel. But yeah, so Vic, you are, as always, extremely familiar with this franchise, and Sunny, you're, you've been seeing all the Humongous Entertainment games for the first time. So, yep. are you enjoying them so far? Yes. All right. Well, guys, without further ado, let's jump right into the mystery of these hogfish wrestlers. Yee! <laughs> so, can I ask, what, uh, as usual, who is the sponsor of the Freddy Fish Games? Ah, uh, yes. Tonight's sponsor of the Freddy Fish Games is sponsored by Worm Doodles. Gotta have them. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see if the game is being captured. There we go. Do you guys see it? Do we? Are we good? Yes. All right. Up. Wonderful. Let's go. <sighs> Ma'am? Um, are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a five gallon hat is more your size. Oops. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Get roasted. I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Freddy fish. Yay! The case of the hogfish wrestlers of Briny Gulch. Oh yes, and this was made 1999, by the way, guys. I forgot to mention that, but you probably saw it at the intro screen. Now, what do we do in a humongous entertainment game, guys? We click, click everything. everything. That's right! We click everything! <laughs> they were telling each other to go follow my Twitch. Yep, <laughs> yeah, they were. <laughs> you see, word of mouth, it travels. <laughs> Whoa. That wooden sign has neon on it. Whoa. Whoa. That's some high tech cowboy oh. stuff. Gee, Luther, you're about the best friend a fish could have. Ah, thanks. I've never been to a real ranch before. I can't wait. Neither can I. This is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. Did you know that warm water floats on top of cold water, but ice floats on top of warm water? Huh. Hmm. Gosh, Luther. Yep. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. Did you know that dancing. warm water floats on top of cold water? Boy, I sure am hungry. You're always hungry. Oh, yeah. Maybe he needs some. 
worm doodles. <laughs> All right, I got my payment for the sponsorship. Okay. I'm hungry. <laughs> Are you hungry? Not right now. It's really fun to be here. I'm glad you brought me with you, Freddy. I wouldn't want to come without you, Luther. <laughs> you are my best buddy. I thought I was your best buddy. <gasps> what? Is your cousin's you ranch you? very big, Freddy? It's the biggest hogfish ranch in Briny Gulch. Wow! Let's go check it out! All right. There's Cousin Calico's ranch. I'm raring to go. Into town one day, fresh from Napoli Bay, rode a mean looking fish with a name I can't say. His face, which was dark, had the eyes of a shark, and his bite I hear tell was much worse than its bark. That's because he was a trigger fish with jaws of steel. Now, I don't mind saying this made us all a little bit nervous, and we kept our distance from this worrisome stranger. So when he asked for one of us simple folk to swim up close and give him a good scratch, and give it, we all turned tail and swam for the hills. Seems the guy I did not expect a song. Quite scratched, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just wanted some help, and there wasn't a catch. As he swam off, I wish that we hadn't all ditched, but no one dared get near. Well done, fellers. <laughs> Yeehaw. Cousin Calico. <laughs> oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! yeah. Thank you both. Yeah. You'll be doing me a real good turn. All right. Anything else? Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Did the rustlers leave any clues? Nope, I'm afraid not. Well, don't worry. We'll find a clue somewhere. All right, we're gonna go look. Banana. Hey, <laughs> it's the fastest banana swinger of the West. <laughs> you know, my cousin was the fastest pineapple swinger of the East. <laughs> Is that a fact? Mm -hmm. What do you see but us? Where is it, kids? There, there. Point to the screen. I can't see. Point. <laughs> oh, I'm point. <laughs> <laughs> we got our first purple sea urchin. Look, Freddy, a purple sea urchin. We're rich. Remember, you gotta make it just like in Dora the Explorer. How do I do that? Oh, you know, he's like. Do you do you see the like the purple sea urchin? Then you gotta wait like five minutes for the you know the, the, the kids to find it. <laughs> the, the the very obvious thing. Then he's gotta scream. There, there. Brush your teeth, kids. 
Comment down below. Do you use an arrow to brush your hair and your teeth? And scratch oh, so your yes, side? Same... <laughs> yes, um, I use the same one, in fact. Oh, uh, oh, you know what? Next episode, we're going to talk about hygiene. I am humongous. <laughs> I'm strong. I'm strong. I am humongous. Okay, back then, my quality was not that great. Ah, here's Town we Square. Are in Briny Gulch. This must be the Town Square. Oh, Let's hey. Go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Oh, guys, I've I've played this game many a time, and I gotta tell you, I'll, I'll tell you who my favorite characters are. Let's go visit this guy first. <laughs> Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Shifty. It says, just buckles. I always try to give others the benefit of the doubt. Does that include hogfish rustlers? Well... Is your cousin going to teach us how to tie a lasso? Maybe. He keeps it very neat in here. Yeah, kind of like my room. Um, that wasn't exactly what I was thinking, but okay. What's that big thing? Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. Hmm, okay. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure. Are you sure you don't know anything about any rustlers? Maybe you just noticed someone acting suspicious lately? No, no, I'm sure I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. Do you work out a lot? Why, um, no. Making buckles is hard work, so I don't really need to work out. Oh, okay. I couldn't tell with that one hand handstand you did. I, all right. I mean, the so thing down there is like a all you here is belt buckles? Nothing else? That's why it's called Just Buckles. I also make custom belt buckles with initials on them. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Maybe sometime we could have a custom belt buckle made. Sure, but right now, we've got to do something about those rustlers. Well, this is Nelson, everyone, and he's a dumbbell. Now, y'all, let, let's go see my favorite crew, Granny, in the game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, kids. <laughs> today, we gonna learn spitting. Spitting? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm eight. He's what? I have no clue. Oop. Periwinkle. Ugh. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? I heard Miss Stella down at the soda loon talking about educating the masses. Is that suspicious? Come on, Grandma. Your turn. It's just not right. Yep. <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> He's not all awesome. Are you sure you don't know anything about the rustlers? I know there are folks that take animals which don't belong to them. 
I reckon if I were looking around here for them, I'd check in the old soda loon. Hey. Yep. All right, well, that was Granny and the gang, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> All right, this is called the Soda Loon, because it's a family friendly game. Yep. We only sell soda. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at High Tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Six, two, zero. Eight. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. All right, guys, remember the code. Six two zero. Got it. Three five nine. Hi. No. I'm Freddy. No, Sonny. And this is my pal Luther. Well, hello. Eight fingered Phil, Doctor of Piano Ology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but. That's about it. Sorry. Hmm. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Mr. Fingers, could I learn to play the piano like that? Why, sure you could. You know, you two remind me of two of my own 17 children. Really? Oh. What are their names? Four and 11. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. Yeah. He just named them four and eleven. But okay. I what? So are like half of them named four and half of them named eleven? Okay. You play the piano very well. Why, thank you, little lady. Do you play requests? Sure. What would you like to hear? Um, Pop Goes the Weasel? Coming right up. That doesn't sound like Pop Goes the Weasel. No, it's just the same song on a different tune. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh, he's a cheater. Ooh, what's this? Is this a movie? Oh, Ooh. it's time for Worm Doodle Specials Presents. Old school huh. movie theater time. Enjoy. Okay. Oh, I like this one. Scale Rider. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> you feel guppy? Well, do ya? Oh, that was my favorite. That was a five-star Academy Award that cost five yep. billion dollars to make, everyone. Yep. This show is sponsored by Worm Doodles. Gotta have them. Uh, children, cover your eyes. Don't look at this. Nope. <laughs> Don't look at this, kids! <laughs> that was not supposed to be in our program tonight. We just got demonetized. You're monetized? Nice. Well, I'm not gonna be able to get food anymore. 
Idea of what was gonna happen, and he I think that was daddy crab or lobster. you guys like our movie segment sponsored by worm doodles it was that great was, that was some high quality cinema right there they really put, got their money's worth yes they did all right let's order us some soda howdy youngsters i'm saltwater stella owner and operator of the soda loo what can i do for you we wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately rustlers well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. What brings you youngsters to Briny Gulch, anyhow? We're visiting my cousin, Calico Catfish. Cal Catfish is your cousin? Outstanding. How is she these days? Well, her hogfish have been rustled. That's terrible. I guess that would explain why you were asking about rustlers. We're going to catch them and free the hogfish. That's good, because rustling folks' hogfish just isn't right. Can you tell us more about those suspicious characters that you saw? Well, there were two of them. One a little taller than the other. And they kept mentioning a third fella, Mr. Bag, or something like that. What can I do for you kids? All right, let's see what they got. One vanilla beet soda, please. Oh. All One right. soda on the house. We don't get to pick the flavor, I guess. Oh, it comes. Oof. We'll have it for you, Lisa. Alright, that was my soda. You can really taste the beet. Mmm. All right, let's order one for Vic next. Would you like a soda, Vic? Yes. Okay. One prickly pear soda, please. All right. Come hey, isn't that up. from Spy Fox, a prickly pear? Yes. Yes, Spy Fox Ozone. I got a prickle. Oh no! Oh. I like oh. the prickly pear flavor. All right, Sunny. I'm gonna order you a All soda right. next. Let's see what you get. All right. One coral soda, please. Coral. You bet. Oh. 
the Discord viewers. <laughs> One pickle soda, please. Oh, you guys get Coming a pickle right soda. Up. Okay. Green. At least not a prickly pear. Yeah. Man, you think you will learn it four times. And I'm gonna order one for all the people on YouTube watching this video right now. <laughs> one walnut soda, please. Oh, you guys get a normal one. Okay. Wow. Good for you guys. <laughs> Comment down below, did you enjoy the walnut soda? <laughs> Uh, I think that's the really? soda I've ever had. Man. Be better <laughs> a if walnut... you left the shells out. A walnut soda would make my dad, or probably put my dad in a hospital. Now I'm gonna order He's one for my mom. Alright, let's see what the problem is. One orange peel soda, please. Ooh. That just sounds good. One soda. That orange sounds like the best. Mama Bear got the best one. Orange peel? Yes. Yeah. Seriously, how many flavors are there? Mm. And I'm gonna order one for my dog, Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> one spicy mango soda, please. Oh, my oh, spicy oh mango. Right I, I don't know, do huskies like spicy <laughs> mango? <laughs> Did they put the tagging in this one or what? I don't know. Yeah. Ouch. I think there's a lot more spicy in that than there is mango. Yikes! I think so too. <laughs> and I'm gonna order one for Net Cirque. <laughs> One rutabaga soda, please. Oh dear, rutabaga. she's not gonna rutabaga. like this. On the house. Oh, rutabaga. What's a rutabaga? That sounds disgusting. I don't want this one. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. Thanks anyway. Okay. Sorry about the mess. Uh, we'll just that order her okay. another one because she didn't want that one. All the time. <laughs> I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. Okay. Girl, Ruta B is like a Poor net sir. Let's give her like a better a one. One peppermint like soda, please. Okay, she'll like that one. You bet. Peppermint. This will probably be the last one cuz I don't know how many flavors there are, but they never end. Well, guys, if you want to keep doing this all day long, buy the game. See what other flavors are there. <laughs> <laughs> and he's shifty. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Well, we're just going to leave these hooligans. There we go. All right, let's move forward. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, I wanted to go to the... Oh, never mind. Oh, we can't go this way anyways. Perfect. Yeah, I wanted to go, um... This way. Okay. Creepy! Do you think that could be the rusty rustler they mentioned in the note? Hey, maybe it is. Well, come on. Let's go let's check, check it out. out that hatch. Okay. Now, do y'all remember the combination? Three, five, nine. Six, two. There should be Six, two, two zero. Cards. We just have to punch <laughs> in the combination. Five, two, nine, okay. One, two, 
three, four, yep, have the next number. Five, oh, six, one, two. <laughs> we did it! It's wow. open! Man, Boy, the just aren't that good at all. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnet, what's that bracket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Oh, fiddlesticks. The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bow tie. All Are rustlers that logic? dress exactly alike. <laughs> yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a blue ten-gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an <laughs> S on it, and a bow tie. Well, that Since looks like Amsterdam. Since you're not wearing these head. things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Because this hideout is for rustlers only. Yeah, okay. Can't argue with this Thank genius. You. Well, we gotta go this get us a rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Can we eat this? Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now, like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Go for it there, Luther. Well, I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. <laughs> they didn't like paper. Oh, man. Whoa, yeah, duh, Luther. All right, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. It was Sunny's stomach. Yes. Uh, my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I guess whoever was working here is done now. Alright, let's get a move on. Ooh, can we just pick this up <laughs> off the ground? That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. I love that. Do you that. think we could borrow it for a while? <laughs> no, we might need it to work on this dance floor. What? Maybe later when it's finished. Oh, the shark. The, the shark. It's a hammerhead shark. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> wow. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. Hmm, how big a piece of wood did they say they needed for this? Six feet by six feet. Okay. Oh, right. Keep, keep an eye out for that. Vic, do we go left or right? I say left. Okay. Gum nuts. I don't you have... want a piece of gum? Or you want lug nuts? What about nut gums? <laughs> Good evening, <laughs> ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. Man, that's... I'm Freddy Fish. And this is my pal, Luther. 
My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. <laughs> Great. Okay. What's this? Friendly oh, reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem <laughs> I was writing. Right. That's an awfully strange here. poem. Do you sell anything besides wheel nuts and bubble gum? No, that's all. Say, you two aren't federal marshals, are you? Are you sure you don't know anything about any rustlers? Not a thing. All right, Mr. Suspicious. <laughs> hey. hey! Hey! Let's make a wanted poster. Wrong, crooked, long. Wrong, bin. Wrong tooth, wrong hat, wrong oh. nose, uh, crazy, crazy nose, <laughs> crazy hat, crazy tooth, crazy tooth, Ruth, no, crazy tooth, Jack, <clears throat> crazy tooth, Sally, Crazy to Alice. Crazy to Zelda. Crazy to Blooper. I like Crazy to uh Crazy Tooth Luke. <laughs> Wanted. Wanted Crazy Tooth for a uh, sea Wanted seahorse hugging. Tooth? <laughs> by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of seahorse hugging. Yep. Crazy, crazy tongue. There we go. Crazy tongue, Luke. Wanted. There we go. That sounds like an outlaw to me. What about that hat? Oh boy, a real ten-gallon hat. Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? Okay. Uh, Excuse me, uh, Mr... Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't course, respect actually. you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah. I'll tell you what. This county would owe you a great service if you did. All right, Sonny, left or right? Middle. Um, <laughs> left. Ooh. that way we could go forward there's no other direction oh uh oh we made it kids knew we could do, do you it. see what i see another purple sea urchin where is it Whoa. it's all over there on the right hand side oh big is clever oh boy Bro, you're supposed to make see it like Dora. Just to wait like a minute. <laughs> Just a minute of awkward silence I, before I, I agree. the I, kids can find it. It's a great candle. What's it doing do here way. all by itself? Uh, uh, Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, 
I doubt it belongs Minnie says the fish are ready. I that is correct, Minnie. how it got in that there anyway. That is very much correct. Good question. <laughs> Hey, we got a crank for some reason. All right. Nope. That was his moment. That was his cameo. That was the one thing they let him do in the whole game. Yep. His five seconds of fame. <laughs> he made a Twitter account and everything, and no one followed him. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. So we can't get by you? Offerfish. Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. Um... Uh, do you need a handle? I don't think I need that right now. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to figure out what to do with this She's little goober. Duck? I don't know. Um, okay. Alright, let's go... this way. Oh, it's Grandpa! Oh. It's my name's time. Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. He's also a quantum physicist. I want that bow tie on his head, or his neck, whichever one. Where's your too, harmonica, uh, Slim? Uh, We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen oh, here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now. Why? His voice sucks. I don't want to <laughs> hear him sing again. Let's not find his harmonica. Oh, he can't be my friend. What do you think? <laughs> a toy. Thank you. Kids! Ah, reward. What do you see? Another purple sea urchin. Where is it? It's right there. <laughs> hey, Luther. <laughs> what's round and purple and pokey? It, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I'm just saying you really don't want to touch those. I wasn't afraid. Now for some free wood. All That's right. Free wood just lying around. This should be useful. Let's just stop you it should into be your pocket. You don't get splinters. <laughs> what, you don't shove wood in your pockets when you need it? I do it all the time. I just pick no. up a big old piece of wood and I just shove it in my back pocket. Excuse <laughs> you. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Shifty. Yes, sir. I knew his voice wasn't the only thing that stunk. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? 
Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. <laughs> You're welcome. Time for the hammerhead shark. There you Good go. job. This is bringing back flashbacks of a mini game I didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the trauma! <laughs> <laughs> Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, watch Put Put joins the parade or whatever it was. What was mm, it? There's race. The race. Put Put joins the race. Yeah, there is a hammering mini game, guys. Oh my lord. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't go this way. We'll come back. We'll come back. I went this way. Okay, yeah. I like to stay in the same direction I was going in a video game. Okay. Ooh. Wait. Oh. It's a crank. Well, okay, so it's that way, this way, and then there's this way. Uh, well, I don't think we can reach this way. So let's so, the go brain. this way. Here we go. We found the use for the crank. There! It fits perfectly! I knew that handle belonged somewhere. On the crank. <laughs> or not. Here, let me help. We did it, Luther. <laughs> Why is the room spinning? It's not, Luther. You are. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> Perfect. Good job. All right, now we can hey, see look. what's in here. This place is filled with water now. Do you see what I see? Another purple sea. Over there. Over there. Look, <laughs> Luther, another purple sea urchin. Boy, somebody's been leaving these all over the place. I know, right? So what's in those barrels? Hmm. Oh. It's cayenne. Cayenne? Um, cayenne oh boy. is kind Here. of hot. Here we go. Yes. Oh boy, you yes. dummy. You dummy. It feels like my tongue's on fire! Is it? No, it looks okay. Let's go to the next one. Woo! Okay. It's pepper. Really? Oh no. Yep. Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, Sir? Uh, you! Bless you. Wow! I never got the whole pepper makes you sneeze thing until one time. When, like, a, I put a lot of pepper on, a f on food on accident and just, like, went to go eat it. It's lemongrass. On Is that anything like lemonade? Oh boy, he's gonna eat that lemongrass. Oh boy. <laughs> It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it, though. Interesting. I wonder what those are for. MSG? Whoa. Kids, don't, don't, don't eat food with MSG. Stay healthy. Uh -oh. Well, you have a bottle there. I wonder what that's for. Look at this cute spice container. This could come in handy. You know what? I feel like we need to fill it with pepper. I 
feel like pepper would be the most logical thing. Now, it's I don't think we can screen. remove these without a screwdriver, so there's no point until we come back. But I'm gonna fill up this container with pepper, just, just in case. And if we need to there, change it, that's okay. One container of pepper. I was thinking we can make our enemy sneeze. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. Man, I, I wanted it. Of grass. <laughs> I wanted some Didn't chocolate cake. More. Hello. Are you the mailman? No. I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Are you E. Tippet? That's what it says on the mailbox, doesn't it? Now leave me be. I'm waiting for an important package. Okay. Okay, sir. Oh no. We hope you find it. Ooh, I want to go where the tennis shoe is. I see something. It's another purple sea urchin. Oh boy! Another purple sea urchin. You think they just grew here or something? Luther, they do just grow here. Really? Wow! It's just a pile of junk. It's an old shoe. It's an anchor. It's an old tire. It's a bone. <laughs> Yikes! Oh. He must be really hungry. I have an idea. But let's go this way and see what's over here. Oh, there's the mailman! Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, <laughs> Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. So, when I was a kid, I would actually leave this screen running and watch him go across the screen and then something happens. Oh, yeah, he realizes he dropped the letter. And I think he has to go back hey, or, or you. something. That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. Yeah. If I remember correctly, he's gonna notice that he forgot the letter or, or something. Is that right, Vic? I think so, yes. Because I was like, oh, well, we'll just wait for him to deliver it. Here he goes. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we Looks need. Looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. Looks like, what do we need? The wheel looks oh, like it just needs okay. a new nut to hold it onto stuff. the wagon. We need a, a triangle. Barker. Well, go visit Bill Barker. we have enough purple sea urchins to buy one. And maybe something for that shark too. I don't think we have enough for the shark yet, but... 
We need to find one more purple sea urchin, I think. Can get that screwdriver, though. Oh, you're right! Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure! In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks! What was this way? Was this where the... Ah, there you are. Oh, you know what? You're right! We do have enough! We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts. I thought the please. nuts were for purple sea urchins. I was Three wrong. Nuts. Certainly. Three for nuts. You're right. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your <laughs> nuts when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. All right, we need and a triangle. if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring yeah. it back and exchange it for a different one. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Maybe we should start a collection of different shaped wheel nuts. We should save our urchins for something else. Like some gum. We'd like to buy yeah, your yeah. pack of bubble gum, gum please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, <laughs> the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin <laughs> for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Didn't you know he charges aggressive Here interest you per go. second? <laughs> it's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise oh. purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Okay. Well, there we go. We've got nuts and gum. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in? You got the uh -oh. 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> oh man, you guys in hot water with the mafia. We're gonna take the S for the belt buckle. That's got it. Now it's just MG. MG. Mother Can't Goose. Mother Goose. Oh, okay. I was trying to think of a food acronym, but all right. Um. Milk grits. Mm. Mashed green beans. All right, Mr. Chewy. I'm gonna give you something pink. It's 
called bubblegum. Keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. I like that little chewing sound effect. <laughs> There's nothing here. Well, Are you saying we did that for nothing? Can we take one of these starfish with us? Oh, sure. Oh. Maybe it's just bad. So oh, 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 oh. Okay, I literally, I'm sorry. I thought these were just like decorations that you click on. I like this gold starfish. Let's take it instead of the other one. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. There yeah. we go. Instead of getting him an official sheriff's badge, which you can get out of his office. Let's just give him a counterfeit. Exactly. <laughs> that's good business. No, that's legal. That's legal. You won't notice the difference. Nope. We did it. It's fixed. And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spooks him something awful. Elmer? Elmer's glue. What's he got Elmer's glue. glue? destroyed that guy's mailbox. My package! At last. Well, I Mr. guess we'll Tippett, just take it. Do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. All right. Thank you. Things are starting to come together. Now, we're gonna go back this way because there was another area we had yet to visit. Mm. Are oh, you ready to no. start? Nope. Quit. I quit. Unless you want to play the mini game. I have no idea what the mini game was. What was it? I not something that interesting. Okay. That's all mm. you need to know, folks. Something hmm. not interesting. No, they're going to hate me if I don't play it. They'll be like, uh, wow, little Bumble Bear didn't even play the, the minigame. I really feel the hatred going ready to on start? from the crowd. I'll do, I'll do one game. level. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. This is like that yep. Spy Fox minigame with the trash. Yeah. AKA, oh my gosh, why? Yep. Oh man. Uh, I, I, I would understand if you know, you know it's math and that it's educational. No. What is this? Wait. How do you? Can you move? How do you? How do you move him? He's stuck in the corner. You can't move him. You just stationary. You have to keep the bubbles and stuff. Oh. I am moving but... Wow, that's painful. Uh, are there any more... The... Are there any more bubbles? Next level, or quit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I told you I'm bad. <laughs> have your movement based and tell you on the third law is a little... Now, little I'm painful. wondering, where's the harmonica? We must have missed something, because he needs his harmonica. Is there an area we haven't been to yet? Well, go back to where Bill Barker was and go all the way to the left. Yeah! I was thinking. 
Let's go this way. Oh, well, let's get this to you. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty ten-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found. Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there? That's a loading zone. Mm. Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! I think he lost his badge because oh he isn't that good at his hat. job. This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, there was, I think, something here we were supposed to do. Was You said all the way to the left? Oh, I got a little cut scene. <laughs> All right, you hogfish, pay attention. <laughs> I've gone Shouldn't to the go to sleep. expense to hire these sheep heads to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please just go to sleep, please. Hmm. There's not here. Not here. No. No, I was thinking of the the one fish that's a puffer fish on the right hand side mm. over there. Oh! Oh yes, 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 yes. I think the pepper should help. Here, try some pepper. his nose at school. That was <laughs> you, Luther. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was the sponsorship. This video is sponsored by Worm Doodles. Gotta have them in chocolate, original, and sour. I'll put them in your nose, please. Oh, look. Oh, these would have been where you could get more letters. But I see the trusty hey. harmonica. Harmonica! A harmonica. Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. All right, we're gonna go give this to what's his face. Yep, what's Mr. What's his face? Oh, yeah, you're right. His Mr. What's His Face Senior Esquire the Third. Yeah, would you <laughs> like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Oh, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Okay. Let's hear a song. Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. All righty. 
We're going to now go and get all this stuff assembled, but let's talk to him real quick, see if he says anything new. Gotcha. Oh. That was very nice. I didn't sing. Yeah. Toby, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the, the accordion? Oh, where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, my work. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. All righty. We got some tree. stuff we got to get done. First, oh, we, got we need some spitting saliva. Yikes. <laughs> oh, boy. Yep. How come you spit And you know so what much? happens next? It's the ink more than anything. Now we're going to dunk our hat in saliva dye. Oh, yeah. Nice. Here it comes. That's not That's not nice. Yep. And just like, yeah. His face. Oh, someone needs to make that their Discord profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's much better. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> Alright, let's go get a belt buckle made. Here, can you make us a belt buckle with this on it? Sure, just bring me a rounded piece of metal to use as the back part, and I'll get to work. All right. There you go. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso! Please, call me Nelson. Well, there you go. I think we have everything it's on the list. I really like those hats! We've got all of those things! Alright, let's go back to the hideout and see if they'll let us in. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Huh? 
This should make my disguise even better. It does! Okay, do you think I look enough like a wrestler? You're very rustly. You're rustly? Luther, okay. you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Oh, I can't Let's see the try tail. To get past the guard. <laughs> I can't see it all. Hold it. This is a. Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem. Howdy. Uh. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um. Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Day off. Nobody Watch knows the trouble <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> what do we do now? Oh Love no! It. it didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Well guys, I don't know about you, but when I'm in jail, I just stare at pictures on the wall. Uh, oh. And click on barrels and make bubbles from wheels. All right. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. They have cannonballs. Phew. These are heavy. Do I have to click on each one? Oh. No, just do. There. That does it. Alright, let's see where this goes. Yeah! Alright. Give me that difficult, didn't it? <gasps> hey, look! Here they are! These are the missing hogfish, alright. We're not missing. We know just where we are. I always try to give others the benefit of the doubt. Does that include hogfish wrestlers? Well... Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. By the way, I'm Freddy and this is Luther. My name's Gruntle. I'm glad you're going to rescue us. It's really crowded in here. No, don't! That's where the rustlers went. And they locked the door, too. Guys, I gotta say We've something. We've been working on the window bars a little bit, what? but we couldn't manage to break them. Freddy and I will find you a way out of here. Great. Do you see what I see? I see something yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. Dumbo? I think yeah. I know who the hog rustler Mr. Big might be. That big barbell looks familiar. Yes, it does. What do you think that's doing here? The big barbell? We're supposed to get to work out with it, but it's too crowded in here to use it. That's too bad. Yeah, but we don't really want to work out anyway. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. <laughs> I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Ooh, that anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. Well, let's grab it. If Why we is can. the anchor on this chain? Oh, so the anchor maybe I need stays. to push the button. 
I wonder what this does. Wow! Did that even work? In this will never reach the bars. Oh, the anchor I did down. this backwards. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. I did it backwards. Bring it back, back up. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. Okay. This is a nice, dirty chain. The chain won't quite reach the bars. What? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we can make it longer. How? Gotta find something. I think I see uh -huh. something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. Okay. Well, I see a little room up here. Ah. What's this? Oh, it's just a little... Wheel of Fortune! <laughs> Wee! Intro. Bankrupt stink! Did what? you hear something? Like a creaking <laughs> noise? That's my way of saying uh, bankrupt it suck. Came from <laughs> out there. Okay. How's it going? Hmm? Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. I'll be right back, Kristen. Okay. We are going to work on getting these hogs out. Get them hogs. Mm -hmm. I bet if we attach this hook to the chain, it'll reach those bars. Let's go here. Uh, Let's press the button. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to you drop the anchor. Move, dude. <laughs> Ready, Freddy! Fire away! <laughs> there they go. What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. I Actually, know. I know who Mr. Big is. He's Let's right see. here in the room. 
I when know the who it is. Me, big they accusation Mr. There, Freddy. to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? It's Grandma! Maybe it was the yep. squids. They're all pretty suspicious looking. Nonsense! No. We squids would never take something that didn't belong to us. I raised these boys upright. That's right, she did. Yipper! I'm sure you did. No, it's not any of the squids. Oh, well then who is it? Who's Mr. Big? Oh. It's... it's... it's the sheriff! Is it Sheriff Shrimp? As the really? sheriff, he'd probably <laughs> understand the criminal mind better than anyone. That's true, I do. But I'm no rustler. Yes, it's not the sheriff. Well, who is it then? It's Harmonica Man. Mr. Big must be Sahara Slim. I assure you, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. Yep, that was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here undercover. I'm actually Sahara Slim, under Sea Marshal. <gasps> I sure didn't expect that. I'm here investigating possible violations of the undersea coffee break statutes. <coughs> I guess you're probably not a rustler then. That was smart to notice the telegram, but he's not Mr. Big. So who is? Who's Mr. Big? Okay, okay, seriously. It's the piano player. I suspect Mr. Fingers. <laughs> Whoa, no way, baby. I don't know wrestling, just piano playing. After we found the note to the wrestler saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. Uh, he thinks it's a B-flat, but really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. Was it Stella from the Soda Loon? If she has a rustling business on the side, that might explain how she can afford to give out sodas on the house. Oh, come now. It certainly wasn't me. And soda is a lot cheaper than you think. Really? Very. Yes, it wasn't Stella. She's an honest businesswoman. Wait a okay. second. But then, who's the mastermind? Did you see that? Yes, I saw that a bunch, actually. Yeah. Freddy's voice was There's coming some... out of Luther's mouth like a ventriloquist. There was a bunch of weird... Is it Cousin Calico? She could have Talk. arranged to wrestle her own hogfish. Why would she want to do that? Um, for insurance money? I haven't got any wrestling insurance. Oh. Who is Mr. Big? The mailman. Was it you? <laughs> the mail snail. Say now. Oh. No, snail it mail. wasn't him. He would have been stuck oh with a broken God. wagon when it all happened, remember? Oh, oh yeah. Man. Well, who what is the deal? It's Bob Barker. I think Gil Barker is Mr. Oh, Gil Barker. Sorry. Me? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I never heard you talking to a shark. I don't know Bob Barker. <laughs> big deal you had going on. Might that deal this have had Barker something to do with host. a certain herd of mm -hmm. hogfish? Well, right, yes. No, yeah. actually, the deal I was working on was selling 300 packs of Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum to the Squid family here. They reserved my the entire vana. stuff, except for one licorice flavored pack. We love the stuff. It kills the taste of the ink. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Oh, so that means Gil Barker isn't Mr. Big? No, he isn't. But that was good thing oh to my. remember the shark. <laughs> what is oh. it? Well, if it's Gil. not Gil Barker, then which one of us is it? it uh, it, um, I, uh... I bet it was those two construction workers. They probably nah. need the extra money for coffee. Does uh, rustling pay more than construction work? I doubt it. No, the construction workers are innocent. All right, all right, I know who it is. Nelson, when we first came to your shop, you were working on something that wasn't a belt buckle. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. It was a 
barbell. In fact, it was that barbell right I... over there, wasn't it? Well, uh, yes, I see. Matter of fact, I just saw that again. I thought it would be good for the hotfish to get some exercise. A healthy body is very important. Are you saying I'm fat? Oh, no, no. I just, um... So that means Nelson Torso is Mr. Big? <gasps> <gasps> That's right. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm afraid I am. Just Buckles hasn't been doing too well, you see. Since folks don't need very many buckles around here, I thought I might have better luck as a hogfish rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't what? take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. Yes, yes. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. We don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Well, I'm still going to enjoy How's it. How's their immunity Fun, service working out? They're having fun. That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Oh, Yours is a faces. five gallon. So it'll fit his oh, ride. <laughs> there it is, the oh, motion. Boy. <laughs> now come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. And they get to have the fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, give me a home uh. where the buffalo ah. roam, where the deer and the antelope play. <laughs> Well, there you have it. How did you guys enjoy this? That was fun. Especially when you only had to figure out which one it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, it was. <laughs> and <laughs> that's the good truth. No, I loved, I loved the part where uh, Luther is like, saying, Nobody knows the trouble <laughs> I see. That was funny. Nobody <laughs> knows <laughs> the sorrow. <laughs> I loved this one too. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again, Sunny and Vic, for co hosting. Next time, we'll be doing the next Freddy Fish game, which I believe is the last one in the series, Freddy Fish 5. So make oh, sure wow. you guys come back for that. But I'm going to take us to our outro scene now. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. It was fun. Of course. Of course. All right, let's Do you go. really want to quit? Unfortunately, yes. Bye bye, Freddy and Luther. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Well, guys, there you have it. Freddy Fish for the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch. Now, I totally forgot to mention in the previous episode, we played Freddy Fish 3, The Mystery of the Missing Conch Shell. I believe that's or the case of the missing conch shell, so make sure you go check that previous episode out. There'll be a link in the description box. But I hope you guys enjoyed that again. If you loved it, consider subscribing, give it a like, put a comment down below. I hope it made you laugh and smile and overall brought back memories, because that's the whole point of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play Nostalgia series. And I'm so glad I'm sharing it with you guys. Of course, once again, shout out to my Twitch channel. Go check it out, Little Bumble Bear. I'll be streaming this weekend, Friday and Saturday. Kingdom Hearts 2, come say hi, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. And follow my social medias on Twitter and Instagram. I post on those when I upload a new video or when I stream. So thank you so much, guys. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone, and you are always welcome to come hang out with me wherever you may find me. Good night. God bless. I'll see you in the next episode, and thank you, as always, for watching. <laughs>